Hi, I'm Eric Pauls. I'm an associate professor in electrical engineering computer science here at UC Berkeley. I'm also on the faculty of the Berkeley Center for New Media. I'm going to tell you a little bit about the Lucid Learning Project. Um, you get a chance to see an early prototype in action and also meet the incredible team behind its research and development. Now, Lucid uh, sort of means something that's obviously uh, easily communicated or easily understood, but it also can mean bright or luminous. And we find inspiration in both of those definitions in the way that we think about this project. It started by thinking about creativity and particularly across different domains of practice. Um, we wanted to understand if there were commonalities in the way that people worked and the kinds of artifacts they produced during the process of their creative pursuits. Um, we were really interested in how they used and reused these kinds of documents, and we think of that broadly as kind of artifacts that are produced in the creative process. We did some early semi-structured interviews with 15 different creative practitioners across a broad range of disciplines. So folks like AR, VR artists, uh, ceramicists, weavers, um, fashion designers, industrial designers, uh, violin makers, uh, computer scientists, um, and so on. And we looked for the commonalities of how they used these artifacts within their creative process and how they also reuse them. And we drew a lot of inspiration to design a sort of creativity support tool that would be beneficial to a sort of studio practice for any of these uh, different disciplines. However, we also thought about it as an educational tool that could be used in the classroom to support the kinds of teaching and pedagogies that lend themselves towards more open-ended problems, those found in design, a lot of artistic practices, and those in the humanities, that lend themselves towards more of a qualitative assessment. And the tool that we developed is called Kaleidoscope. Uh, it's modeled after the kind of busy, messy, but uh, inspirational workspaces that we all inhabit. And it supports a range of different artifact productions, uh, things from, of course, text and Google Docs, uh, but also images and videos, uh, you know, 3D models, Figma designs, uh, collaborative support uh, kinds of uh, repositories such as GitHub. And the idea is that um, really, rather than focus on the sort of final showcase and, and artifact production that might be part of the final piece. We really wanted to sort of capture all the sidesteps and the pivots and the, all the beauty and valuable messiness that's part of that creative process. And it's a, a new approach to documenting and, and of this creative work. And we put it into a classroom setting. And in the classroom, it, it allows elements of uh, the designs that students are working on to receive really uh, quick feedback from either fellow classmates or from uh, the teaching staff or even outside domain experts. Um, within Teams, uh, Kaleidoscope helped facilitate sort of best practices of team communication, setting of roles, uh, measuring progress, and, and all the kind of distribution of uh, uh, tasks that go in on in groups. For the teaching staff, it provides a valuable new lens to observe and understand how group dynamics are, are emerging, the kinds of participation and contribution that's occurring in these different groups, highlight when groups are actually um, struggling, but also when they're actually succeeding. And uh, we also allow individuals to tag specific artifacts and elevate them to a sort of portfolio showcase. And this could be used to showcase a series of final designs in, in a course and also a personal portfolio for students to take with them while still retaining all of the underlying process and messiness that is important to reflect and think about um, those individual projects. Um, we've developed this prototype kaleidoscope. We've deployed it in a, a human-centered design course, a computer science course at UC, UC Berkeley. And it's running now. We have about 110 students in this class. And we're learning a lot about how students are reflecting on it and using it. And we hope to actually um, iterate on our design and deploy it in further courses outside of engineering in the future. We look forward to your feedback, but I really want you to get a chance to see some of the elements of how Kaleidoscope works. So I'm going to hand off to the team now. Group collaboration during remote instruction can be challenging. Design courses like CS160, User Interface Design and Development, include highly collaborative group projects. Kaleidoscope allows teams to share their creative artifacts in a shared digital studio, building a reflective, collaborative space that evolves with the team. Artifacts are generated throughout the creative process, 
ranging from temporary low fidelity artifacts to final polished outputs. These include sketches, meeting notes, reports, prototypes, and many others. While sketches and brainstorms might usually be kept separately from code commits or digital video, Kaleidoscope brings all these artifacts together into a studio space where they can be seen as parts of a larger whole. The visual layout provides rapid foraging behaviors, foregrounds progress, and collects the history of ideas chosen and set aside, directions taken and not. One student describes Kaleidoscope as a go-to place where we can know that all of our developed ideas and drafts are kept. Besides providing a centralized history of a project, Kaleidoscope's flexible interface allows direct interaction with the artifacts. Users can rearrange and group artifacts to find new inspiration and ways of thinking or resurface old ideas. Kaleidoscope also situates feedback directly within the context of the project's history. Students can request feedback from team members or publicly from the entire class. Feedback is visible in context with the artifact so it can be recalled and referenced. Students have found this feature particularly useful, allowing them to converge on and improve ideas within a team, as well as solicit inspiration and fresh eyes from classmates. Kaleidoscope provides insight to instructors about the class as a whole by easily grouping all submissions from an assignment in a single view. Instructors can get a sense of a class's strengths and weaknesses, as well as share exemplary examples with students. Students can see their classmates' work as they develop their own projects, learning from each other's techniques and processes. After a product is complete, the studio provides a history. It contains resources used, knowledge gained, and decisions made. It can also be reformatted easily into a publishable portfolio web page showcasing only chosen artifacts. Kaleidoscope is still under active development, releasing new features weekly. We're developing visualizations to help students learn about their own approaches to design, as well as features to support domains beyond CS160, such as costume design, theater, or technical research. We also envision extensions connecting to AR and VR mediums for collaboration and exploration. Kaleidoscope provides a flexible platform for remote collaborative creative projects, especially in Berkeley courses, as well as a launchpad for future research into effective documentation and artifact-focused process across creative disciplines.